it is 12 minutes past three and I've just finished my rowing shift. Um, I'd say quiet actually, I hope you can hear me. It was quite a frustrating shift but sadly, well not sadly, I can't really tell you why so um, but I just couldn't wait for it to finish. Um, yeah. Don't get it much, but you get on the oars and then you look at your watch and you think, oh, I've got 60 minutes left, and then you look at your watch and then you think two, two ten minutes have gone and then it's like two minutes have gone. So I've got my timer set. It is one hour four minutes. I'm gonna get some kip and then yeah, back on the oars for Back on the oars for five o'clock in the morning to probably do another frustrating shift. Character building, I reckon. 8.06 in the morning and it does not feel like 8.06. Most of you will be getting ready to go to work. We've been rowing since 10 o'clock last night. And I'm gonna admit, it's not going great. We thought it would be a bit of a cruise, so we're going right the way from Wick all the way to Fraser, uh, Fraser so we actually can't see land right now um, 57 miles in total and we thought that we could get 2.8 knots with two people but we've actually now got three people on the oars and we're struggling to get two knots we've got three different three different heights of people um, three different styles of rowing and it's a nightmare, like an absolute nightmare, and we're just getting nowhere fast. So we're doing three hours on and one hour off, which totally sucks. Like I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated. I'm not getting frustrated with anyone, but I'm getting frustrated with the situation because everyone's working hard, but working hard in a different way, and just it's not moving the boat forward. Um, so it just means sacrificing our two hours off and not really having a great time, like no one's talking, everyone's just head down. I mean, three hours of rowing isn't great and the weather's not great. So anyway, um, I'm on my hour off. I've just found some porridge on deck that I was there for like two days, so I'm gonna eat that, save some time and uh, just chill out, listen to some music, eat some energy bars. I haven't even got any internet. So that's it. Like, I'll just sit here and drink my next three hours. Mm, four minutes to nine, and I'm about to go back out on the oars for another three hours. Um, I'll just show you something before I go out. We've got some like really random weather that we didn't predict. So this is us here. We're actually heading here but as you can see the boat is facing this way so we're facing that way but actually being kind of we're rowing down that way which is a bit odd so it's 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 kind of wasted energy three people at 2.7 knots which is 2.7 miles an hour not terribly efficient but at least we're moving in the right direction but well, i've got to go Got three hours of rowing to do. I think I'm gonna to listen to some music, some podcasts, try and get try and get lost. Um, can't say I'm looking forward to it too much. However, we will be nine, eight miles closer by the time I finish, so that's pretty cool. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? That was exciting. The first time um, VHF radio. <laughs> guys were all laughing at me outside uh, like absolutely loving it in the voice cabin um, just looking through the almanac with all of the stats and all of the delicious figures for everything and do you know what I definitely want to do more like I'm totally loving knowing exactly what's going on um, it's tiring and Angus and Charlie, oh my goodness, they're so clever, like, so dangerous, some of the stuff they're doing is so dangerous and they're so clever, like, finally I'm starting to understand it and it feels great. 5.49 and we are in Fraserburgh, end of week 6, 
I've got a man. I've got a, I've got a crazy man running after me with rubbish. I'm feeling a bit short-tempered actually because as soon as I hit the marina, all I want to do is have a poo. So everyone's like, Laura, do this, do that. It's like, guys, I need to go and find the facilities. So I'm straight off going to look for some online facilities for a comfort break. We're ahead of schedule, a day ahead of schedule. I'm not sure how it's happened. Uh, we are a strong team. We do row fast. We've got quick shift patterns. When we've got places to be, we get there. And it's wicked. So yeah, on land, end of week six got the two new boys joining us tomorrow Angus is coming back as skipper Charlie's leaving lots going on I'm moving back to the girls cabin but right now I've got stuff to do